Okay, okay, well now I got a different camera set up here, we're going to look at this a little bit differently and I got a little bit of a different microphone set up so if it sounds differently, that's fine. By the way, what you hear in the background always is the babbling brook of the wonderful picture frame babbling brook that my kids got for me a long time ago that I always wanted. They were all the craze about mm, 15 years ago, 12, 15 years ago and then they went out of phase real fast but I really like them. And I'll show it to you someday, and maybe we'll get in there and fix the fix the mechanism. What what it was is there's a uh, three pieces. There's a little speaker with a little thing playing, and then there was a, a weird light fluorescent lamp, uh, a U-shaped one with a weird wattage uh, ballast thing, and then uh, a rolly thing that that uh, simulated the the rippling of the water. And you know what? And of course the, the lamp is busted and I didn't want to order a specialty one because it all looked all goofy. And the last time I was in there, five or six years ago, I really didn't know what I was looking at. And I think it'll be time to open that up again soon. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys this thing because in the last video that I posted, it was a bunch of stuff that I was going to fix. And this is something that I did fix. And I should probably show off what I did because this is very simple. And... This is what I'm talking about. We should not be throwing things away. We just shouldn't. Um, things get fixed. And now I told you this thing was making a god awful strobing and was going all sorts of nuts. And so um, when we plugged in, the, when it turned on to the light, and so I didn't know what was going on here. Now, here's the first thing. This unscrews here and you can see this has got just a couple of, yeah, it's really nasty in here with all the bugs. And I even knocked it, most of this out, but it's way down at the bottom in here. You can see here. There's little tiny little uh, UV LEDs. And then there's, I don't even know what's in here because I didn't get this far to crack that open. Now this is sealed and I'm imagining that there's um, just some LEDs in here and somewhere either in here or up here, there's a little transformer and probably down here because it's got that. Now, like I said, I didn't even get that far because here's what happened. Now, what you do, this is incredibly cheaply made. Big Clive would be um, shocked. Well, this just pops off and then all that's left is in here. Now, oh, now if you look down in here, you can kind of see what's going on. I don't know, there's a couple capacitors down there. It looks a bunch of resistor, I don't even know. But here's what was wrong is there's, you know, obviously it's positive and negative coming from the, from the mains in here. So we got, and this was just a free floating wire. Oh, uh -huh, see? See, so one here and the one on the side, and that's positive and negative, or vice versa, alternating current. But this was just free floating, and so obviously it was just rattling around and making a weird flicker. Now, I don't know if that was it or not. I don't know if that's what the problem was or not, but it seemed to have fixed it, whatever it was. I soldered that in, and so that wire is making a connection properly, and it doesn't seem to have had a problem since. I plugged it in, and I made it work. So... That was just as simple as going in there and finding a loose connection. And it's really weird because this is odd how that all looks like that or whatever. And it doesn't seem to be that would be the problem. But there you go. And I haven't had a problem since. And that's like an $8 thing that doesn't need to get thrown out. And that's what we're talking about. And this is you know, part of part one. The other phase of this is, you know, not only are we recycling old stuff so it has new use and new purpose with the old aesthetic, but we're also making sure that we're not just junking things that um, don't need to be junked. So that's all I have to say about that. Now, the other thing I do have to say is that I've been working on the bench power supply and I've been practicing. And I even went and bought a router, did a bunch of cuts, did a bunch of different things, different drill holes, pilot holes, sink this, countersink that, do this, do that, cut these things out. God, I made a god awful mess in here. This is just, just turned to, I mean, sawdust to sawdust, but this is even worse because it's just cardboard to begin with. And it's just, there's a fine layer of dust and dirt everywhere, which is just not cool at all. So that is a problem that I'm gonna have to fix. Uh, I wanted to say that also that the crossover got fixed. Of course, I brought the wrong crossover as a two way and I, jamming it, but it doesn't sound as good as the three-way, so I gotta get a three-way and then I'll have a pair of two-ways and I'll fix up something nice. 
I'm going to work on this more. I, this is, uh, I'm not good at this stuff, so I really wanted to practice, and I'm probably going to practice more before I get into the, to the piece that I really want to put on this. I've been drawing, doing some drawings, trying to lay out what I want to do. I'm, I'm actually planning that one out because I, I want that to be really nice. So that's where I'm going with that. I did this experiment because everybody's talking about three wires, three wires, and then I used, this is a 16 gauge wire, these are the 18s. Eh, probably is a 14 in there, I don't know. But I'm not sure what kind of real power I'm going to be pulling off of that. But it says use three wires at a time to your things, and then this makes it a lot easier. And this is the uh, one of those, like, put the put the heat lamp on and the solder melts, solar melts, and the... Oh, that's a hard one, man. And then the plastic is it's, its own shrink wrap and solder in there. It's really nice. Uh, if they, I, I've been playing with them. I think that's how I'm going to do... Obviously not putting all three of those together. That was just a wire test. So, this was a victory, and I guess I should probably plug it in, huh? But, uh, let's see what I have here. Hold on. Stand by while we're doing this. I will also tell you that while I'm unscrewing this light bulb, I probably should have had this ready. I should also tell you that I'm going to have to get into my tape deck because there's something wrong with it. And, well, I don't want there to be something wrong with it. It won't go backwards and the auto reverse doesn't work anymore. So that's a problem. And I'm going to pull that down. I'm going to leave the bench supply a little bit. I don't really like the carpentry part. It's been tedious even though I'm practicing and building up skills. Don't be afraid to practice. Oh, wrong way. Huh. Well, I guess we're gonna go by hand here. Whoa! The jittery motion and here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, see it's on. And then see you can't even tell you got the black light on there. Yeah, that's nice. Ah no disco. We saved ourselves eight bucks. It was a really simple fix. All right, until then, later.